Hello, you're listening to Ready, Set, Go! Real Estate Investing Podcast, presented by Brandon Elliott. This show will be going over all aspects of real estate investing and is intended to educate, motivate, and prepare you to take action on your first or next real estate investment. For more information, please visit BrandonElliottInvestments.com. Thank you for listening and enjoy. Welcome back, everyone, to Ready, Set, Go! Real Estate Investing Podcast. I'm your host, Mr. Brandon Elliott. So I just got back. It's been a while since I've done just a a one-on-one kind of to everybody and giving updates and all the fun stuff in the mix. So I wanted to do this one before the end of the year is up and talk about 2024 goals, right? There's a lot of amazing things coming up. I am more than excited for 2024 because we have an EOS implementer right now. We have, you know, if you guys are familiar, familiar the book Traction, we have really implemented and uh, brought in an EOS implementer. It's been next level, really clarity and understanding of what the hell we're doing as a team for Credit Council Elite, as well as real estate. And it's just been game changing in so many different ways for the simple fact that like the harmony, the community, the culture, and we have bigger goals in the next 90 days than I could have imagined as a team to be able to do in one full year. Like I, I, I would be blown away if we got all of that done in one full year, let alone in the next 90 days. But I mean, it's one of those things that we take a deep breath and we look at it and we're like, yeah, I, you know, we can knock out all these things individually. And then as a group, I mean, even if we get 80% of it done, it's going to be, you know, just ground shaking in so many ways. So really excited for that. Just got back from a mastermind that I invest in myself each and every year. And, you know, there's two big things that really stood out in this room full of 300 high level achievers, business owners, entrepreneurs, real estate investors that are crushing it on all levels nationwide. And what I really noticed is with these two things, it's very simple. It's it comes down to consistency and commitment. And, and you know, I was thinking about the new year. I was thinking about the new, you know, goals. We we wrote down our stuff several weeks ago, about three weeks ago now, right after Thanksgiving. And as a team, as a group for Credit County Lead, our, our leadership team. And what I was realizing is, you know, most people, as you, you know, I'm sure we can all agree to, you know, everybody makes those big, huge goals for the beginning of the year, kind of like jumping into the gym, going to the gym for the first time. And then how quickly does that die off? And how quickly do you get into the busy, quote unquote, lifestyle? Even the entrepreneurs these days that aren't like the business owners are always busy, right? But the people that aren't business owners are still busy. The people that aren't working are still busy. Like you get caught up in busyness these days. And it's with all distractions is more or less the real cause of things. But when you prioritize something and you say that you want it, We've gotten into a culture as a society, I believe, that it's very quick to assume that like, yay, we're all going to hit these big goals. And then we all know somebody or ourselves. It's hard to look ourselves in the mirror and say, hey, you know, we had a lot of rah-rah in the beginning of the month. And then towards the end of January, we're like, ugh. This whole gym idea that sucked, right? Or whatever we're committing to. And and it's just it's that core mindset that we're giving the acceptance to. And and I realized that in this room that I was in just the last two days, it's not like that. It's a whole nother level of commitment and consistency that that you don't see out there in the average world, in the day-to-day nationwide. And so I thought it was really special. I thought it was really special and and I thought to myself, like that is what separates winners from the wannabes. Like everybody wants a million dollars. Everybody wants to be financially free. Everybody wants real estate. Everybody wants that dream life. Everybody wants to be able to support their family and friends and be like that guy or that woman for their circle of of influence, right? However, most give up somewhere along the lines. And it's because I think we start off with these big goals and then how are we going to get there? 
how committed are you? How consistent are you when times are tough, when shit hits the fan, when you wake up early and you're like, ah, oh, or you went to bed late, you need to wake up early. You need to jump into the cold plunge. You need to go to the gym. You need to stick to your word because that's what's going to get you those actual steps. That's what's going to take you to the finish line. That's what's going to take you to your end goal and backtracking to get there. It's all going to be well worth it. If you can just get there, if you can just stay consistent, if you can just stay committed to what you said you were going to do. I don't want to tread lightly around this because I think a lot of people do. And it's important to realize how committed are you and what is the game plan? If you don't have a game plan, you just winging it, you'll always fail, right? Whether you think you can or you think you can, that saying it's, you know, you are always correct. Yes, to a certain degree, that's a mindset thing, but You can't just say that hoorah of like, yeah, we're going to hit a million dollars a month. Like like that's one of our goals. We're going to hit a million dollars a month in the next six to nine months in business. That's our initial goal, one of many. But it's important to have what are all the functions? What are all the consistencies? How are we going to get there? As you, the visionary or whoever you are, as you are driving your company, your vehicle to success, how the hell are you going to get there? People in the vehicle are going to start saying, part of your company, they're going to start saying, how are we doing this? You know, like we got to have kind of a roadmap to get there. You can't just have the hoorah, right? So it's important to, you know, really identify these things and break it down so that you can have you know, strong indicators of what is it going to take to get there and how committed and how much are you going to put towards that consistency to really get you to the next level? Because let's face it, if our company could hit a million dollars per month, then we would have. Okay. It sounds rough. Some people will take it rough. You know, I I know some of our team members, I, I believe did as well, but it comes down to like, if we could, we would, wouldn't we? If you could do uh, a pull up or a muscle up like you would, wouldn't you? Yes. Doing these things each and every day will get you there, you know, sometime, I hope the consistency behind it, but what is it truly going to take besides that? There needs to be detailed, actual plays to really be able to get you there and then holding each other accountable along the way. So whether it's a team, whether it's yourself, whether, you know, yourself is one of the biggest things that I see just people dropping the ball on right away. And we all do it. We all do it. But it's important to get into that, that just like overdrive, right? That overdrive and getting to the next level. And this is something that I'm working on right now, personally. I'm working on right now personally to be able to get to that next level of pushing through and giving it my all. I want to get into the best in all categories. So I I don't want to just settle for less. I don't want to be mediocre in any category behind what I'm doing in life. And so I think it's really important to realize these things. And and at the end of the day, realize this game plan, how it's going to get you there. A lot of it's going to take finance of this. Because let's face it, everything that we do in life, it's going to cost something. There's going to be some kind of, it's either going to cost you time or it's going to cost you money or it's going to cost you both. And it's totally okay. Being committed to wanting that change, you should pay to pay attention. You should invest in yourself to be able to get to that next level. You should get that trainer to be in the best shape of your life. You should give your time and have that commitment, you know, instead of doing whatever else you're going to do, scrolling online, right? There's so many different levels to this to be able to really dial it in and and make sure that you are giving it your all. But you don't want to make those 2024 plan goals coming up and just have something mediocre. You don't want to just give the hoorah, you know, good old college try approach. There's so much more to design the life that you truly, truly are excited behind, that you've given it your all in all categories of life. And you're really excited to see the impact because there's always somebody watching. There's always somebody listening to you. And so it's important to be very careful with the words that you use, that you speak over your life instead of beating yourself up to. We have a lot of people like in my circle and uh, friends, family, myself, other people, yourself, maybe everybody's knows somebody that is very difficult, very tough on themselves and saying negative words and, and words are so, so powerful, right? So 
like I was mentioning, somebody's always listening. Keep in mind, if even nobody's around you and you're saying something, your self-conscious is listening. Like you are listening. So if you're saying those tough, difficult words about yourself or, or feeling like a letdown, you got to push through in some way, some form or fashion. You, you're going to want to get yourself out of that rut and push through in the opposite way so that you can feel good about yourself. Just like any time that you ever push yourself to the limits, something you definitely 1000% did not want to do, like go to the gym or run five, 10 miles. Like you didn't want to do it, but you kept pushing through afterwards, that feeling of accomplishment, like you gave it your all. You wanted to quit multiple times, but instead you push that extra mile. That right there is like, that's a winner mindset and it'll feel so freaking good in so many ways. And you can do that with business. You can do that with the relationships. You can over serve people. You can really go that extra mile, but keep in mind, all of these activities, a huge majority of them, there's going to be financial investments and time investments that you're going to have to put towards that. So really calculating those things beforehand. How much time do you really have available to be able to give? How much money do you actually have set aside to invest? Are you going all in on yourself? Are you really prepared to get to the next level? Are you consistent enough to show up and give it your all and not waste your investments? Are you committed to really tripling down on yourself? One of the coolest things, you know, with Credit Council Elite, as we're growing this, it's something so fulfilling because we have people like Mo just last week, he got $545,000 of new credit lines, 0% interest. There's people like Brandon Smith getting 642,000 by planes, flipping them, cars, RVs, houses, Duncan getting 650,000. Nico getting 380,000, Ryan getting 400 and what was it? 487,500. I mean, the list goes on. There's multiple people out there in our group that are just crushing it in all areas. And you guys can too. You can too, but it's going to take, you know, an investment into yourself, a commitment from yourself. Like how bad do you truly want it? Are you ready to really succeed? Push it to the limit really push the envelope and and get inside, surround yourself with high level achievers that aren't going to settle for less. A lot of us settle for less and then it holds you back. And then, you know, that frustration behind it, that frustration of you knowing that you're not living your full life, your full potential, you know, that is absolutely heartbreaking. So yeah, what I want to leave you with is this. At the end of the day, 2024, it is right around the corner. Okay, you should be excited. You should be prepared. We're going into an election year. There's usually good things that come from an election year. God knows what that's going to look like. Only God knows. Okay. But with that being said, politics aside, craziness aside, all the nonsense aside, there's going to be opportunities for real estate. There's opportunities left and right coming around. There's opportunities with You know, they're saying that the interest rates are going to come down about six times next year. What that's going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is make it more affordable for people. More people will, uh, Americans nationwide, will be able to jump into real estate. However, that's also going to create a bidding war because there's still not enough supply. Okay, so. Keep this in mind that if you are on the sidelines or wanting to get started into real estate, the time is now. The time is now. 1000%. If it wasn't yesterday, it's definitely today. If it's not today, you got to get in by tomorrow. Okay. It's it's one of those things that you want to jump in now so that you're not getting beat the hell out of with all these high prices that are about to come. Okay. And get into these deals while you can before it becomes a buying frenzy. And then you're going to capitalize in so many ways, in so many ways. And if you're looking to take down more real estate, but don't have the capital to do so, or looking to grow and start, you know, a new company, diversify into stocks or crypto as that's growing, all the other multiple streams of income that you can really capitalize and grow and scale things, keep in mind getting 0% interest, business credit, and really 
get you and take you to the next level. We have $8.5 million in real estate assets right now, collecting almost $48,000 in rental income from short term and long term rentals, as well as doing, you know, seven ground up construction projects where we have projects in four different states, you know, real estate in four different states. And what I would tell you is I did it all with credit, but I wouldn't change one thing behind it, except I would go after more business credit sooner than later instead of making all the mistakes that I did. But it, it was part of my journey. It was part of my path, right? I've been doing this for 12 plus years now for, for credit space. And we got into real estate finally at 2015. And so that's coming up on almost nine years, right? So, you know, there's power behind all of this and what you can do is really capitalize on it by preparing yourself, get the funding you need. Even if you don't have the opportunity in front of you, you do not need to use the funding. Just get it, get it by your fingertips. Every six months, we're we're teaching business owners just like you, entrepreneurs, how to get funding every six months, up to 500K every six months at 0% interest. There's ways that you can capitalize on it by getting huge sign-up bonuses, getting anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 of free to cash from opening new bank accounts, as well as the bonus points that credit cards offer. They're teaching you how to fix credit quickly. So wherever you're at, whether you're in the 300 club or 800 FICO score club, trust me, we can help you get to the 800 club in the next 30 days or less guaranteed and being able to just set you up for success so that you can you know, actually get a mass apply and get a boatload of funding getting over 500K in funding so that you can grow, scale, start new companies, diversify, liquidate it into physical cash so that you can wire money into escrow and protect yourself against contractors, go on a free vacation afterwards, travel hack, because we'll show you that as well. And once you have all this money, we'll show you how to invest it, diversify it, and then protect yourself and really have that security behind your back. So with all that being said, you do not want to miss out on it. We we have end of the year. I mean, it's, it's the best time because at the end of the year, you can take advantage of the tax write-offs, but also capitalizing on a fresh new start, fresh oil over your life and be able to jump in and really be able to crush it and take full advantage of 2024 like you should. Okay. And many people are BSing. They're not committed. They're not consistent. They're not going to show up and participate. So I pray that you are and that you really take full action on this, take full authority over it so that you can start changing your future, your finances, your family, and really take this to the next level. So with that being said, because the holiday specials are coming up, we are going to do kind of an extension of Black Friday coming up just the end last week of December so that you can take advantage of the tax benefits, but also get your butt in for a fresh new start for uh, joining Credit Council Elite. So if you're interested in that, we have opportunities up to 50% off on multiple different products. And we have products anywhere from $97 all the way up to 50,000. So you'll be able to capitalize on it. You'll be able to get the strongest ROI and really take your business to the next level. So with that being said, I pray this hits you well and it really sits exactly where it needs to. When it comes down to the consistency and commitment, really dwell on that for a little bit and make sure that whatever goals you decide you want to take action on this year, that you prepare yourself properly. You know exactly what you're going to do, how you're going to get there, stay committed to it, be consistent and go full out, play full out, you know, burn the boats and really be able to go all in. So with that being said, love you guys all greatly. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button to Ready, Set, Go Real Estate Investing Podcast. And every Monday, you'll get a new episode notification that uh, once you're subscribed to, you'll be able to get the new notification, watch the episode, and then leave that five-star review. Greatly appreciate all the love, all the support. You guys are amazing. And we will catch you on the next episode. And really excited for 2024. Happy New Year, guys. Happy end of the year. We love you guys. And you guys stay blessed. Peace out. This has been another episode of Ready, Set, Go! Real Estate Investing Podcast, brought to you by Brandon Elliott. For more information, please visit BrandonElliottInvestments.com. Also, please don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment below. Thanks again for joining. Until next time, God bless.